Good morning, good afternoon, or whatever it is for you. I'm just going to adjust this a little bit. And the, the topic today is boundaries, and I'm going to invite some friends, per use. And once again, I'm just inviting the first couple that people are, you know, that, that Facebook recommends. So to begin with, uh, the topic today is boundaries. And we all know what boundaries are. People talk about boundaries. And it's basically where your space is or the structure of something. For instance, you can talk about in school, there's a certain boundary about the class starts at nine o'clock and ends at 10 o'clock or something like that. So there's a boundary in terms of the time. There's also boundaries in terms of personal boundaries. How close you'd like to stay next to a person, depends how well you know them, all of that. And personal boundaries can also take into effect um, how we, somebody just dinged me. It's pretty funny. I'm trying to talk about boundaries. I didn't turn my phone off. But anyway, moving forward. Um, different people have different boundaries. And so I made kind of a list. Uh, I'm off a little bit. So there's personal boundaries. There's cultural boundaries. There's business boundaries. There's legal boundaries. There's um, educational boundaries. And of course, there's sexual boundaries. And oftentimes, the sexual boundaries get more publicity. What I want to first talk about is understanding what boundaries are. And boundaries are understanding where you are in space and where you are in connection with others. I have begun to realize, and you can read books on it and they'll tell you to do this and all that. But the bottom line is there's two kinds, right? The interior and the exterior. The exterior would be things we were raised with culturally that we kind of brought in. Um, things that um, are rules in schools or businesses or things like that. Now, this is the part that I have been finding very interesting is the um, well, what I do when I'm when I feel like my boundaries are not being acknowledged. I have begun to realize that what I do is, and this is now like, oh my gosh. So I have this tendency to uh, sort my papers. Now I can do that two different ways. I can either sort them in front of me in little piles, or I have a tendency to sort them as a half circle. So I'm in the middle of this half circle. And it, it always has occurred to me that um, I thought it was because I was just kind of messy. And so I've stopped doing that and then I went back doing that. So I, I've been realizing that I am not staying with myself in terms of what my boundaries are. I, and what that means, and that's kind of vague, but what, I, what that means is when I am not feeling like I can express my discomfort, then I shut down and I do my introvert thing. And at the same time, I have noticed, um, especially in the United States, because we have so many different cultures here with so many different boundaries. So I'm going to tell on myself a little bit. So I um, was at a, a lumber store and I was buying something. And when I think about lumber stores, I think about one in Tacoma. It was called Coast to Coast. It was run by the McHughes. And I would go with my dad 
And I, so I'm like at this lumber store on the by, hanging on the counter, just like I would have when I was younger. Um, and talking to this guy and, and he said, you know, I have PTSD. You are way too close. Now, mind you, there was probably three feet. Well, maybe two, but, but the point is, I did not really see that there was a counter there, even though there was a space in between. And I didn't see that there were chairs to sit in, which was probably what I was supposed to be doing. Uh, just because I got caught up in the old familiar of kind of hanging on the counter. So I was very glad he told me that and I was able to step back. The reason I'm using that as an, as, as an example is how many times have we felt uncomfortable and the other person hasn't even known that we're feeling uncomfortable, right? Because we don't express that. And so my encouragement is no matter what kind of a boundary it is, that it's always good to express what you're feeling, not in an accusatory way, just in a information way, that, which is what the guy did. I mean, explained the PTSD. He didn't have to do all that. He could have just told me, get, sit in the chair, lady. Um, so that's my message today. Sit quietly. Figure out when you're feeling like your boundaries need to be readjusted or you didn't speak up for yourself. And honor yourself by renewing that um, privilege of letting people know what you need. Because really, that's really what a boundary is. Letting people know how you're feeling, what you need, and staying in your body. And not like, oh, it doesn't matter. It matters matters to all of us. So let's, let's just keep going. Okay. Take care. Have a dazzle of a day.